What's going on guys? It's Pro Dangler here and um today I'm gonna be teaching you guys about the tricks and stuff that just make fishing such a wonderful and up to date sport and there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. I'm only gonna be hitting like a few stuff that'll help your fishing. And um, let's start it off. Um so people you know, there's many different baits and bobbers that you can use for fishing. I personally, like, I don't like bobbers that look like this, you know, this, or this. I don't like those bobbers for crappie and bluegill fishing. Um, reasons why is these bobbers make it hard to get unstuck. Well, I like bobbers like this, and, and you know, all these. Let me just show you guys what it is. Well, no, these ain't bobbers. They're, um, what are they, quartz? I don't know. These. But, um, I mean, you get a bunch of these for a good price. And what makes these so good is you put the toothpick in there and you pull your line. And here, I'll show you guys later how these things work at the end of the video and you pull your line and the bobber pushes down to the bait and you can just push your bait out of the out of the brush pile so these make it way easier to get unstuck too so baits I mean I use a bunch of different baits and there's a bunch of hacks or whatever you call them with these baits I personally I like Strike King these are really good baits in my um, opinion. I also like brush pile fishing baits. I don't think I have any on me. Right. I have them somewhere, but brush pile fishing, I mean, he's a nice YouTuber. Shout out to him. He's taught me a lot. But my favorite um, bait to use are these mini mite. These are ice jigs. Man, you can get them in so many colors. Oh, I love these things. So, if you're ever just looking for, if you're online or something, or you're shopping at your local Cabela's, I mean, pick up a couple of these. They're a little bit expensive, but they're worth it. Um, what else to make? So, we've gone over that. Um, another thing that you can do on your base is, like, you can put on this stuff and, like, sense them up. These make your baits, like, extra sensey and stuff, and it makes the fish so much better. And you catch way more because they're attracted to it. And there's also stuff like these, like this right here. This was rubber corn that was sensed in the juice. I, I'm, I'm out because I use them too much. But, um, this is really good. This is by far, like, my most favorite thing ever. This, for bluegill fishing, it's better than a worm, and it stays on. It's like rubber, so it stays on, like, as long as you're bait. These are really good. But every day, every time you have to, tr tr like, pull them off your bait so they don't dry up, because then they're a pain to get off the hook. But these are by far really good baits. You can find them on gulps. They look like a piece of corn. You can cut them in half, too, and then you get double as much. Very, very good. By, by far, one of my favorites. And then also, you have these little crappy, crappy niblets. These are really good, too. Um, What is it? Um, Walmart, they have these for maybe five bucks for one of these. So, it's not too, too high because, you know, there's a lot of these in here. There's better kinds of these and there's worse kinds. I mean... The better kinds, they were sold out when I went to get these, so I didn't get the good kind. I got these, but they work almost just as good. And then for the last one, we have these gulp baits. If you can see this, they're like little minnows, and they are censored in the juice. So you, they're just sitting in the juice year-round waiting for you to use them. These, really good. Only part problem is they harden up over time, too, so... That's the only bad part. That's all for my baits. Here, let me show you guys these. These are gulps too. Gulp are really good. That's all for my baits. Um, up next. So, when your baits are in there. Oh, crap. One more bait. Okay.
Okay, so these baits, um, these are pretty popular baits, as you can see. I have a bunch of these, and I love these. If you guys can see that, I have a full tackle box of these. And they are very good, and, you know, the fish are attracted to them. And, I mean, it's like one of the things that not the very many people will know about but like these ends, they give action, but you don't need like 50 of them. So, see this? I forget what these baits are called, but they're definitely at like your local school, store, bait shop or something. So when you're missing a little bluegill, one of the, or something, one of the key things to do so you can catch them is rip off these tails. See how there's like 50 of them? If, if you rip them off, it's just like one. But it makes it way easier. So you rip off three of these, say. It makes it so much easier for the fish to just swallow this. And you can catch them way easier. This is, this is a really good trick. And it'll help you catch many fish. So. There's another trick. Alright, moving on. We have some polarized sunglasses. Oh, how do I show these to people? These are some polarized sunglasses. These are really good for fishing. Like Now, if you're in like a really mucky lake, they're not really going to help you. But if you're in like a kind of clearish pond, I mean, you put these things on and you can see a foot deeper, a good foot or two deeper. It's These, these are really good things for fishing. I like these and I recommend it. Rend I recommend them to you guys. Next, oh yeah, we have this juice. I don't think we already went over this, but this is like oily stuff. So what you would do is you would pour just a little bit into each container of your tackle box. So if you guys have ever had it where like your base are like nice and oily when you get them, but then like they get like really hard and stuff and they're like not good for fishing anymore and you don't like them get like this oily stuff you can hook it up online and i'm sure they'll give you something good but we, we just have them in this thing because this is what they came in but you pour in like tiny 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 bits into each one and it helps your baits a lot more makes them last longer and it makes them like easier to put on the hook and it makes them so easier to fish with So up next is these clippers. So getting these clippers on like a string is really nice because you can like wear them around your head and stuff. But I also had like these clippers. I got them for my birthday. I couldn't find them because I'm um, my fishing stuff is a mess. But um, what you would do is you would attach them to like your waist, your waist belt, and you could just carry them around all day and. It's really nice and it's in like this container so you can like pull it up and clip, clip, clip and then it goes back and then it pulls back in. That's really cool. Um, what else do I want to go over? Ooh, tackle box. So, I mean, there's all regular. Everybody's seen like, like tackle boxes like this. We have a small one. This is a medium and I have a large over here. Let me go get this. like a large one um, but this is a great storage thing and you can get like bag storages and stuff too I like this one this one's from flame BU I don't know what it's called let me put this up to the camera I hope you guys can read that I don't know if you can or not But, um, these are really nice because you have a top pocket here to put in, like, all your storage stuff. And then, if you open up this, you have, okay, so here's some mini tackle boxes. I had some in here. Yep, here's some more gulps. See, I use them. So, let me show you. So, I mean, you can see here, there's a container for two large ones. You can put small ones in here, anything, gulps in here, a lot of stuff. 
Mine's empty because I don't have my tackle boxes in there right now. But this was definitely a really good thing to get. And then, so now we're going to move on to this. So this right here, I mean, this is the bottom part. You can put, so you guys see like this right here. This is like a layer for a medium tackle box and then another medium one. And then right here on the side, you can put in this. Or what I usually like to do is I like to get some more bait containers. And I just put, uh, I hope you guys can see this, put these in here just like so. And you can fit maybe two more in there. It's pretty sweet. And then... I think that's all. Oh, another thing is, this is a thing that really helps with people. So, I mean, you get fishing line like this, and people will have fishing line on their reels for like over a year. And then, you know, all this, like, if you have fishing line in your reel for over a year, it's usually time to get new fishing line if you can because. When that fishing line gets old and stuff, it really isn't as strong. And you can just yank that sucker, and fish will break off way more often when you have old fishing line. So, that is one thing to conclude when you have, like, old fishing line. And then, so now we're on to, like, rod tricks. So, Alright, guys, so... Right here is like any bait, and it's hanging like this, as you guys can see. But, um, so in your jig, when it's just bobbling up and down, that's not as good. One trick that you can do is you can pull the line like this, pull it towards the hook, and it makes it like more sideways, if you guys can see. So it's way more realistic bobbing it up and down. This is a really cool trick that I'd like to thank um, to my dad for teaching me it. And then moving on. So the bobber trick, this is what I'm going to show you guys. So right here is your rod. And you can see this thing's stable, but it can easily get pushed up and down. So what, what you do is your pull's pushing it down into the spot where you're stuck. And then you push. Your bait's unstuck and you just pull it up and your bait's unstuck. So thank you guys for watching this video, um, I'm just trying to teach you guys how to fish better, um, hopefully it hits big, um, if you want your guys' friends to like learn how to fish good like this, um, just share on the video. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for supporting me.